What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest shortcomings inside the uh, cab of a Dodge Ram pickup truck and it has to do with the rear seat. Um, if you have a mega cab you probably don't worry about this as much because the seats um, come on a little bit further and they recline but in the regular quad cab or crew, uh, crew cab pickup trucks like this power wagon that we have um, one of the biggest problems that we have for storage wise and utilization is this area right here. Dodge for some reason decided that you need a cup holders down here right in front of this bench seat which is nice because it gives the rear passenger uh, a place to put their drinks but it puts this really awkward notch right in here and when you're trying to carry five passengers in the vehicle or six if you have the front seat flipped up it really gives you about half the seat depth that a passenger would really want or really need in the back of the truck here for the most part we don't really worry too much about that because there's only four of us but what we do have a problem with is we bring our Australian Shepherd with us and she's about 60 pounds so she's almost a full-size adult or excuse me not an adult but a uh, adolescent and she takes up a lot of room so we've got our oldest daughter that sits here Bailey typically sits on that side and then the dog has this little landing pad right here to fit in and it doesn't really work out too well so I decided to take on a little project and build something to uh, make this a little bit more pet friendly and show you guys what, what I kind of came up with. So the obvious choice here is to build a platform. But what does that platform look like? So what I did was I grabbed some 3 quarter inch ply and I made a template out of cardboard. And as you can see, this would sit in this orientation. This would be the cutout for the drink holders. And then this would sit in that space right on the floor mat. So this would be a platform, right? What I wanted to do though is solve some other storage issues that we have. So this is our Blue Ridge Overland Gear Medium First Aid Kit. I wanted a place for this to sit because typically this is sat in the floorboard next to somebody's feet. So how do we solve that issue? What I did is I made a box. So again, this is three quarter inch ply base. These are one by fours. Framed it up and now the Blue Ridge Overland Gear bag fits right in there. Done deal, right? Well, except for the fact that this is only four inches high and I needed more height than that to help the dog. So the other thing I wanted to store in there was this knockoff Pelican case. This is an Apache case. Um, I've talked about this before in some of our videos. This is a Harbor Freight special, but it works just as well as a Pelican case. It's completely sealed. It's lockable. It's got a weather seal on the inside edge, and I've actually got a compressor, my air hose, and all that stuff in here. Um, so this can be removed at any time, hooked up to the battery underneath the hood, and I can air up my tires. Well, this is normally lived in the back of the truck, buried all the way at the front of the bed, which is not exactly a good place for it. So the solution here was to take this case and stick it on there. So I've got Velcro on this edge, a little strip of Velcro right here just to kind of keep it from shifting back and forth. There you go. Except it's a 60 pound dog. She's going to dislodge that pretty quickly. So, took a strap and stitched the ends. And then I made an adjustment on this side. And this just clips into the side, pull it over the top of the case, just like that. Got a little loop right here. Yank up on it, and there you go case is secured to the box. box will be sitting on the floor with the weight of it and the fit inside the truck. should hold it in place. This makes a nice platform for the dog to sit on. Alright, so the installation is pretty simple. Again, this is notched out for the cup holders. You can see the taper right here to match the center console, so we just stick it into the center console, push it down, and it's in place, and it doesn't move. There's enough tension between this carpet here, this box, and the WeatherTech floor mat and the jet out here to hold this in place. Now, just like this, you can move the seat up and down, still have access to the cup holders, and technically you could use this for a storage bin if you wanted to. Blue Ridge Overland Gear Medium First Aid Kit. Stick that down in there. Again, plenty of storage. You don't have to have the case in here if you don't want it. Still can move the seat up and down. Still plenty of storage. Still can use the cup holders. The only thing we can't use is this little platform on the passenger side because it folds out over here. If we wanted to use that, we'd have the seats up anyway. This just pops out. You can throw it in the bed of the truck or just take it out completely. 
I'm gonna put my strap on, clip this into place, pull my slack, grab our air case, and again, this is just gonna sit on here like this, butts up against this, the uh, center console, comes up over the top, clip it into place, pull up on the loop, and bam, it's all done. Now, the only problem with this is it does get rid of the uh, cup holder usage in the center console. It does still allow us to move the seat back and forth in camp, and underneath this panel, I've actually got hammocks and an axe and a couple other things underneath here. So I still have access to all the storage under here. So now we have a nice even platform for the dog to sit on, but we took it one step further. We wanted to make her a little bit more comfortable. So I made enough slack in the strap here. Take that off. We've got one of these pet beds for her. Just tuck this underneath the seat here to hold it in the back side. Enough room to put it in up here. Pull the strap over, clip it in, cinch it up, and there you go. She's got a nice soft bed. The strap will retain it, keep it from sliding off. So far she likes it, it works out pretty well. She likes to lay this way and put her head on the center console anyway. The only thing that it does kind of turn into a pain in the butt is if you want to carry extra passengers, the whole thing's got to come out and go into the back. Unless the person in the back wants to straddle the container, which you'd take the air tool case out and stick that in the bed of the truck. The center console front seat will not flip up with that Pelican case there, so that's got to come out in order to use that. But again, if you're at that point, you're probably pulling that anyway because there's a center console up there with a manual four-wheel drive shifter. That's not exactly the most comfortable place to sit anyway. you probably choose to sit back here. That's kind of what we came up with for a solution. Give you guys some ideas for the back of your uh, Dodge Ram quad cabs, just in case you were looking for a way to fill up that space or better utilize it. Maybe it gives you guys some ideas. Gianna, come on, let's go to the truck. Okay.